Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at um, bearings. Okay, so to understand bearings, um, I want you guys to imagine a compass like this. And basically what it means is that when you face north, it's considered zero degrees. And north is always considered straight ahead of you. Um, I mean, I know it's not a true north, but that's how uh, bearings kind of works out to be. So say if we have um, an angle like this, uh, and if we want to find out what the bearing for this angle is, what the, what the bearing is actually, what we need to do is if we move the compass onto the, um, the angle itself, we can see that it this is, so we're starting from zero, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 90, and all the way to 140. So this one has a bearing of 140 degrees. We'll do a few examples like this and then I'll show you what a problem actually looks like. All right, so the next example, uh, we've got a bearing, try and figure out the bearing of this uh, particular angle here. And we can see that this has a bearing of 314 degrees. Okay, so let's do one more, one more example. Now in this one, we're going to work with an acute acute angle, but so when we put this, we're going to go from zero and we can see that it's actually 40, 40 degrees, but we don't actually write this as a bearing of 40. We write it with three digits. So we actually write this as 040 degrees. So that's just to start off with. Now we're going to look at the directions itself. So say, for example, we have a direction north, then we know that that's, that has a bearing of zero, zero, zero. Northeast, so northeast is actually here. Uh, so that's going to be uh, 045. East is at 090. And then we have southeast, which is going to be 135 south which is 180 southwest is going to be 225 uh, we've got west which is going to be 270 and we have northwest which is going to be uh, 315 degrees Okay, so if we're talking about directions, those are the bearings that we are talking about. So if we're looking at, say, someone says, oh, we're going in the direction of south, then that means they're going at the bearing of 180 degrees. Okay, let's have a look at a couple of problems and see how bearings come into play. All right, what you'll notice is that I've actually, in this um, slide, I've actually asked you to find the bearing of A from B and bearing of B from A. All right, so what I'm going to do is, first off, uh, I'm going to split this up into two things. All right, I'm going to do A, bearing of A from B. Now, if it says bearing of A from B, uh, what that means is that we've got A there, and we've got B there. So we're, because it's saying from B, so we're going to put north here at B. And we're actually looking for the bearing going this way, right? But if we look at bearing of B from A, then A is going to be there, B is going to be there. But because it's from A, our north is going to be here. And the bearing is going to look like that. All right. So I'd like you to see the two differences. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually going to work out the angles. Uh, I'm going to create a little right angle triangle here. All right, so there we go, right angle triangle. One, two, three, four, five. Now my base is going to be five, and this length here is going to be two. And I'm going to figure out what this angle is, which I'm going to call theta for now. All right, now. If you haven't worked with uh, trigonometry, I'd recommend you guys to watch the previous videos in this series to actually use trig to solve this angle here. So in this case, what I'm going to have is opposite and adjacent. 
So that's Sokotoa. We're going to use Sokotoa. So my opposite is, in this case, is 2, and my adjacent is 5. So then I have tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Uh, tan theta equals 2 over 5. So theta equals shift tan of 2 over 5, which gives me, what do I have? Shift tan, shift tan of 2 over 5. It's 21.8 degrees. So this angle here is 21.8 degrees. Now, because of parallel lines, I could also probably do it something like this, where I could say, well, or actually I can say alternate angles are equal in parallel lines. So I could also say that this angle here is 21.8 degrees, which means to find the bearing of A from B, all right, this is what my bearing looks like. Okay. Um, what I have is I have this angle here, which happens to be 21.8 degrees. But I also have 270 degrees this way. Okay. So that means the bearing of A from B is going to be 270 plus 21.8 degrees, which means it equals to 291.8 degrees. But if I look at bearing of B from A, then this is what it looks like. All right, I know that the little angle here is going to be 21.8 degrees, and I have 90 here, so it's going to be 90 plus 21.8 degrees, which means it's going to equal 111.8 degrees. So that's the difference when we're talking about find the bearing of A from B and B from A. So notice the two differences there, folks. All right, I'll do one more question and then we'll we'll finish off for the session. All right, guys. So for this next question, I'm actually going to do it in the next video following bearings one. It's going to be called bearings two, and I'm doing this question in that video there. All right. Now, if you have any other questions, pop it in the comments below, and I'll try my best to answer them. Okay. Thank you for watching, and make sure you watch bearings two and bearings three in this uh, playlist.